it's a problem i'm trying to deal with it hello and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is neha and welcome to another book haul because i have a problem i did not intend to film a book haul today um or in the near future um i wanted to kind of like curb my spending habits um and build up a you know nice little like stack before unveiling it to the world of booktube but unfortunately that did not happen i ended up splurging a little bit because i needed retail therapy <laughs> so it was just a bad weekend overall it was a working weekend i was mentally very low i was i had a very bad headache and there were just a lot of things happening and i just wanted to get out of the house and just go to a bookstore and browse around and i ended up picking up books that i think might make me happy so that's what happened and that's how this book haul came to being wherein i show you the few books that i bought in my recent splurge and a few books which have been accumulated over time <laughs> in the past couple of months so yeah that was a long winded explanation to basically say that i splurged and i am here to show you the true gifts of that splurge So yeah, let's get started. So the first couple of books are actually from an Instagram store called the Old Book Depot. dot in. They gave a really cute little bookmark with their address. Um, I'll put the handle also down below if anybody wants to check them out. But uh, they are a thrift bookstore. They are a thrift bookstore that sell on Instagram. Like they put up like you know they put up like drops almost. And I picked up two books from their. available stack the first one is the golden gate by vikram seth uh, vikram seth is an author that i read back in 2020 i read a suitable boy which is kind of like his magnum opus it is 1200 pages long and since then i always say that i want to read more vikram seth but i've really not gotten around to it but uh, i just i really like this cover so i figured i will spend on him a little bit this was not really expensive i think it was 150 rupees if i'm not wrong but uh, this is a book narrated oops narrated in verse i have never read anything written in verse and now i have two books i think which are written in verse no three books which are written in verse so i need to get on to reading them at some point but yeah really really happy to have thrifted this and it's in gorgeous condition the second one also from old book depot is the house of mirth by edith wharton edith wharton as a writer i see on booktube channels that recommend a lot of classics um and i've always been curious to read her and never have um and when this copy came i really liked this picture i really like the wordsworth classics because of the picture that they usually have on the front and this one really intrigued me for some reason so i figured i would take it up i don't know anything about it it seems like it's about a coming of age story published in october 1905 so yeah looking forward to getting to it at some point because now i have massive massive piles of 100 books and i got one book for the non fiction reading club that i'm part of on instagram we read one non fiction book every 40 days and usually it's like an indian non fiction book and for this month and for august we picked up lemnants of separation by anjan malhotra this is a partition book and since august is our independence month we this that it's pretty self explanatory why we chose this book um i am was very 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 excited to pick this one up because i've heard nothing but great things all over the internet about this book and they are not wrong let me tell you i'm like half way through this book and it's really very fast reading for me for a non fiction and i'm really 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 enjoying learning crying angrying <laughs> along with it so yeah full review hopefully coming up soon then i bought a couple of books when i was out and about uh, <laughs> on a different weekend these both of these are books that i've been eyeing for quite a bit and i just never got around to buying them or reading them i mean i never got around to reading them clearly hopefully i get around to reading them some point but uh, the first book is the promise by damon galgood this is the winner of the 2021 booker um i mean i bought it a year too late but uh, since i didn't read the 2020 booker also yet which is i think shaggy bane which i also have on my shelf 
I just never got around to buying this one. This is basically set in South Africa and it's basically like a family saga of a white family um, and how the younger generations really detest the older generation for how they treat the black woman who's been employed with them for like ages who basically bought them up. Um, and then like secrets get really revealed and all of this. Um, very intriguing premise. As I'm talking about it, I feel excited to read about it, which is which has not happened for a bit. I keep picking up books to read and I just drop them because I'm just I'm just in this weird space of not sticking to a book for some reason and it's just so weird and that's part of the reason that I kind of splurged in because nothing was exciting me in my bookshelves. I was in one of those kind of modes. I went out and bought more, which is not ideal. I know, I know. Moving right on, the next book is Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. I have an entire reading blog where I read uh, Station Eleven by the same author, which I'll link up above. And before that, I had read The Glass Hotel. And the thing that really stuck with me with those both these books is that she managed to create, create this atmosphere where I can just dive into and just forget everything. Both those books I read in the space of one or two maximum days, so I'm very much looking forward to cracking into this one as well this is set in a spaceship and it is like a time traveling not i don't know if this is an actual tra time traveling machine i just know that it jumps back and forth in time that's what i mean by time traveling but uh, very much looking forward to this and this is also a 2022 release which is queuing up the next stack of books that i'm really excited to talk about so yeah then coming to the biggest <laughs> part of the haul, which I just bought, all of these books I bought in a bookshop in Bandra called Title Waves. And uh, like I was saying, I was in a rut. I wanted to feel happiness and I bought books to feel some momentary happiness. As I talk about the next few books, you can see a theme of Bookstagram, Booktube hyped books. Usually I reserve myself from buying these hyped books because I'm scared of like, being rejected almost but yes but this time i just went all out <laughs> i splurged in house i went into the bookshop looking for one book because i really 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 wanted to finally buy it and that book is hamnet by maggie o'farrell oh my god speaking of booktube bookstagram hyped books i mean this one is right on top of my you know to be read list i've heard nothing but great things with all the people that i follow and who I really connect with in terms of you know reading taste and uh, I just I've been hankering to get into like this book particularly for a bit now and I've just not found it anywhere when I found it in that bookshop I'm like I am taking this I'm not letting it go this time it is about Shakespeare's son and daughter now Shakespeare's son's name is Hamnet who's or whose name also inspired the play Hamlet and it's something to do with their childhood about how like they wake up sick and then there's nobody to be found both mother and father are missing and then it goes from there so it's basically about Shakespeare's son and again I mean I love historical novels which just transport transport me completely and take over my entire life and I forget the real world so I'm hoping that this would be one of those next book needs no introduction it is Heartstopper volume one by Alice Oseman I mean isn't everybody reading this right now? Isn't everybody making a video about it right now? I am jumping into the bandwagon. I have never read a graphic novel. I've read like a very short graphic novel a few months back. I don't think it counts, but this one will be my first full scale graphic novel. I am so looking forward to just getting into this and reading it and crying and laughing and all of the other emotions that I saw other people go through and i'm also excited to watch the tv show after i finish this book and also get the other books in the series so yeah needs no introduction let's just move on to the next book next book is you made a fool of death with your beauty by akwiki amazi um akwiki amazi as an author to me was introduced to me uh when i was reading the death of vivek oji um and that book was again an insta hyped book and i saw people cry when they were reading it i liked it um i did not enjoy it as much as probably other people have but i thought i'll give the author another try um this book i think is set in uh, again in africa i'm not sure which part of africa it just like i just like the fact that it looks very deceiving <laughs> like the cover looks very deceiving also beautiful beautiful cover i must admit the synopsis 
looks like it's a rom-com but i know this author i don't think it will be a rom-com so yeah looking forward to this one and i have another book which again a lot of people are talking on instagram right about now another 2022 release this is lessons in chemistry by bonnie garmu this is this was sold to me by someone i follow on instagram i think he or she i think she put out on her story saying that um, if you like gilmore girls you will like this book and immediately i'm like i need to read this book so usually i don't usually buy like physical copies of romcoms mystery thrillers i prefer to read them on my e reader but again i wanted to feel some happiness and i wanted to feel pick pick up a book which makes me happy so i figured i will just go for it and buy the physical book for it once this is a book about a woman in the 1960s who becomes a chemist which is rather unusual for women at that time but she manages to create a path for herself and then years later she becomes the star of her own tv show which is like a cooking show which is called lessons with chemistry and it's like a daring like you know making women ch uh, challenge the status quo kind of book um uh, i've heard again nothing nothing but great things about this book so i'm really looking forward to you know like a fun strong uh, read and especially one with a strong female character last book for this haul i know it's a short haul uh, It's a little different from my other hauls in that manner, but the last book is Crossroads by Jonathan Franzen. Again, a book I've seen a lot on in bookshops, but I've never really read Jonathan Franzen. All I know about him is that he's, you know, he's always attempting to write the next American novel, kind of. Um, I mean, the sheer size and scale of his books was terrifying to me earlier, but I don't know. I picked up this book in that bookshop. and i properly read the synopsis for the first time um it says it is about one family set in 1971 and uh, there are two children and no wait three children one mother one father and all of them seem to be at kind of like a crossroads in their personal lives and as a family also they are in a crossroads um and then we follow i think their life i don't know just really sounded intriguing to me and i feel there is nothing better than a family saga to just like dive deep into and get your teeth hooked on to so um that's why i was sold to this book and i figured i would finally finally buy it i have been seeing it a lot i was not enthused to buy it before because of the size of it but i figured i should take a leap so i did these are all the books that i recently hauled i think all of these have been bought um in the past month month and a half um i know uh i'm admitting i'm admitting that i have a problem but i'm trying to do something about it i will let you know how that progress goes if you like seeing this do check out my other content like share comment subscribe all of that jazz and i'll see you very 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 soon bye